Well, nightlife is a key part of Las Vegas' economy, and now guests and vendors are in town for an expo surrounding clubs and bars. Plus, a rainy day in parts of the valley, so what you can expect in your neighborhood the rest of the night. Well, for the first time in more than two years, the nightclub and bar show is back at the Las Vegas Convention Center. Now, this is, of course, basically the Super Bowl for nightlife in a city that certainly knows how to host a great party. And 13 <laughs> Action News anchor Ross DiMatteo now joins us live from the show floor. Ross. Yeah, Todd and Trisha, a little tough to tell because the show is winding down. It ended for the day at about 6 o'clock, but earlier today, this place was packed and buzzing, and we all know that the bar and nightclub industry was among the hardest hit during this pandemic, so just seeing all those people coming back and all these businesses tell me that they're just so excited to be back here in Las Vegas for this event in person. Now, let's talk about uh, guest uh, attendance because it was a solid turnout today. Show organizers telling me that they expect more than 7,000 guests for today's event, uh, really this week event, and and that's only about 15% fewer guests compared to 2019. That's pre pandemic. And this is a diverse crowd showing off a really wide range of products. Picture everything related to nightlife. I'm talking alcohol, distribution, lighting, bar games, so much more. And this event is now in its 35th year here in Las Vegas. And organizers say that they couldn't be happier to host it in person. At the end of the day, uh, a, a one year or two year pandemic is not going to stop people from eating out and drinking and socializing. That's what we do as human beings. And so for us to be able to get all these people back together, do some business, learn a little bit about the industry, it's, a, it's just a, it's a pleasure. Now, like I mentioned, things are winding down for the day. There's also a food festival going on right next door that a lot of these guests are, are running to attend. And also, everyone wants to go out on the Las Vegas Strip. Can't say I blame them. There's also a full day of events planned for tomorrow. Todd and Trish, I'll send it back to you. All right, always a great time here in Las That's Vegas. That's right. Ross, by the way, did you run into any local companies that have ties to Las Vegas? I did. I ran into quite a few, but really one stands out in particular, Tricia, that being Kaloa Rum Company. This is actually a company that's based in Hawaii on the island of Kauai, but we all know that Las Vegas is the ninth island, so they tell me their goal is really to bring their brand from the Hawaiian Islands to the ninth island here in Las Vegas. And recently they actually partnered with the Las Vegas Raiders. They're really excited about this. So you at home are going to be able to taste all of their rums at Allegiant Stadium this fall at Raiders games and also the concerts and events hosted at Allegiant Stadium. And they told me the real reason why they wanted to be at this show this week was to grow their brand here in Las Vegas and all across the country. Las Vegas is considered the ninth island. There's a lot of Hawaii presence here, and the Raiders have a beautiful new stadium. It's a great organization. There's a lot of synergy between Hawaii and the state of Nevada. And with our new partnership, we thought it was a great time to relaunch the brand in Las Vegas and actually have some interactions with the nightclub and bar owners and buyers. It's exciting times, and uh, those rums are already available here in the Las Vegas market at many of the local liquor stores, including Total Wine and Lee's Discount Liquor. And uh, I may or may not have tasted just one, but uh, I would definitely <laughs> recommend it, Todd and Tricia. Yeah, all in the name of, of good research, right, Ross, which right, we exactly. as we know is always important. Also, another <laughs> question for you. Did you come across any new technology out there, innovations that you could talk about? You know, Todd, I am glad you asked. So let me take a step over here. This is called Jevo. This is, uh, they claim that they are the world's first ever fully automated jello maker because why not? Everyone loves a good jello shot. So they're really targeting this to casino owners, bar owners, restaurant owners who want to produce jello shots in bulk. And again, can't say I blame them. So earlier today, we did get a demonstration. Take a look at this video. It's basically the Keurig for jello shots. You pick your settings, you can fully customize the kind of jello shots you want to brew. And then you just fill it with the necessary ingredients and in about four minutes you're going to have a tray full of jello shots all ready for your fridge and just listen to the director of sales talk about his goals for the upcoming uh for showing off the machine at this show we've reached out to a lot of the casinos you know and the, the, the bars out here and the, you know it's it's all about getting um exposure like anything else and people just need to know they're there if they don't know it's there they're not going to ask for it. If they start seeing jello shots in, in these fridges everywhere, more, and more people are going to, you know, begin to, to try them. Can't argue with that logic. And guys, the Jevo machine, they lease this out to bar owners, restaurant owners, casino owners for uh, starting at $2.99 per month. And they say it really pays for itself. And uh, again, this is just one of the many innovations here at the nightclub and bar show happening again today and then a full day of events tomorrow. 
it's the place to be. Todd and Trisha, I'll send it back to you. Yeah. yeah. So many people who went to college are thinking, I was why thinking didn't that. I come up with that? I mean, where right? was that at Arizona State? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> or Penn State, yeah. Right. Penn State, <laughs> exactly.